This is video 15 in our series uh, Foray Analysis. The uh, playlist for all the videos is featured on the website at digital-university.org. Okay, in this video we just want to take a brief look at the sync function, which is defined as the sign of some expression divided by that expression. And this particular form or this particular expression, we encountered that a lot when doing various types of four-way analysis. So let's just take a brief look at it. Here we have x and then the sync function of x being the sine of x over x. Now when x is 0, that is 0. Um, 0 divided by 0 can be anything, so good, let's call it 1. And then when x is pi over 2, the sine of that is 1, so this is going to be the reciprocal of pi over 2. So the sync function of this is 2 over pi. And then when x equals pi, the sine of pi is 0, so now it is 0. And then when x equals 3 pi over 2, we're down here on the unit circle, so the sine of 3 pi over 2, that's negative 1, so the sync function will be the negative reciprocal of this, minus 2 over 3 pi. And then when x equals 2 pi, this is 0, so the sync is also 0. Then when x is equal to 5 pi over 2, the sine of that is 1, so the sink of 5 pi over 2 will be 1 over that, or we have the reciprocal. So notice that here we start at 1, then it's above the x-axis by this much, crosses the x-axis, it's 0. Now it rises above the x-axis, but not as high as what it was before. And then when x is equal to 3 pi, then the sine of x is 0, so the sink function is also 0. When x is equal 7 pi over 2, then the sine is minus 1, so for 7 pi over 2, the sink will be minus 1 over that, or we're going to have negative the reciprocal, minus 2 over 7 pi. And then when x equals 4 pi, we're back to 0. So notice here it was at 0. It went below the x-axis by this much, 0. Went above the x-axis, 0. Now when it goes below the x-axis, it doesn't go as far below as what it did previously. Just like here, when it goes above the x-axis, it doesn't go as far above as what it did previously. So if we take the graph of this, it's going to look something like this, where Originally it's 1, and then it crosses the x-axis. It went below the x-axis. Then when it goes above the x-axis, it's not as far as it was before. Then when it dips below the x-axis, it's not. it doesn't go as far below the x-axis as it did previously, and it just keeps going above and below smaller and smaller amounts. Now notice that we drew this to be symmetrical even though we only determine this part of the sync function. And indeed it's easy to show that this is symmetrical if we have this is the sine of x over x. So if we have the sine of minus x, that would be minus the sine of x divided by minus x, so we just get the same function, sine of x. So this 
it's a symmetrical function. And again, at zero, it's one. It crosses the x-axis. It goes below the x-axis. It comes back to zero. Now, when it rises above the x-axis, it does less than what it did before. Now it's zero. Now when it goes below the x-axis, it does it by a lesser amount than it did previously. And it continues on like that, but it just, each time it goes above, below the x-axis, a smaller amount. But that's the sync function. So we just wanted to take a minute or so to give a rough sketch of it, and also to point out that indeed the sync function is symmetrical. Okay, that's all we wanted to say about it. Um, hope the videos have been helpful. We'll try and get some more videos put together. But what we'll do is we'll look into four-way transforms and some of the mathematical properties of them. So come back, join us for those videos, and we'll see if we can solve some more problems.